Spring is almost here, and it's time to get the bikes ready for the season. My main ride, for my local trails, as well as getting about town, is going to be this Polygon Extrada 6. This will be my daily ride, so I wanted to customize it a little to suit my needs. I also didn't want to spend a lot of money to do it, so I did a little shopping and found a few inexpensive products to make the riding experience better. These products are all under $50, and most are under $30. I bought these with my own money, and I'll have links to all the products in the description. So let's get started. Grips are a personal thing. What works for one person may not work for another. These stock press-on grips are adequate, but they are a pain to deal with when you need to make cockpit repairs. So I found these locking grips for just $7. Lock-on style grips are easy to install and remove with just an Allen key. We'll see how they hold up. Next are these sweet looking oil slick pedals from Hike Incher. These are aluminum alloy pedals with sealed bearings. I like aluminum pedals and I like sealed bearings. The metalwork isn't as refined as what you might find from the traditional bike brands. I was surprised that these pedals use a 6mm Allen key to install instead of the traditional 8mm Allen key. But luckily these pedals also accept a 15mm pedal wrench. So for $30 I figure I'll give them a shot. Besides, the oil slick finish is pretty cool. Since I have these sweet oil slick pedals, why not complement them with some oil slick aluminum valve caps? These are super cheap and come in lots of colors. For night rides, I picked up this $30 Victogen rechargeable bike light. The company claims it's water resistant, and they also claim it's 2400 lumens, and it seems pretty bright. It also comes with a tail light for those neighborhood night rides. It's pretty bright and worked well on a recent night ride, and the battery life was good too. While it's not as bright as this $250 light from Outbound Lighting, it's bright enough for single track riding and more than enough for urban riding. If I were more serious about night trail riding, the Outbound would be great, but this will do for now. Tire levers are a bike necessity that everyone should keep with them. These Granite Talon tire levers also double as a quick link tool. The levers will also store a pair of quick links. I'm a fan of tools that do double duty, so for $12, this is a good tool. If you ride tubeless, it's a good idea to keep a tubeless tire plug kit on hand. You never know when you need to seal a puncture. I've had this Genuine Innovations tubeless tackle kit with me for a while now. It's compact and comes with tire plugs and a couple of spare Presta valve cores. I tend to overpack for a bike ride. And lugging a big heavy pack all the time makes you top heavy and the ride less fun. So I'm going to make this bike my lightweight packless grab and go setup. Starting with this race face stash tool wrap. The stash will strap a tube, a multi-tool, a CO2 cartridges and other little knickknacks right to your frame. The quality is good and it holds securely to the bike. To further keep the weight down, I'm skipping the traditional inner tube and I'm going with a Tubolito. Tubolito is not cheap at $35, but I chose to pay a little more for weight savings and space. Since I run tubeless, I would only use this if I couldn't plug a puncture. So why not? Next is this Entity MT15 multi-tool. It has the main Allen keys you'd need for a bike from 2mm to 8mm, T25 Torx key, flat and Phillip head screwdrivers, a tire lever and a chain breaker. The tool is nice quality, but the chain breaker is not compatible with skinnier 11 and 12 speed chains, so in this case we'll save this tool for my hybrid. So for this setup, we're going to go with my Crank Brothers F15 Multi-Tool. It has all the features of the MT15, but swaps out the tire lever for a spoke wrench. At about $40, this isn't cheap, but the quality and function are excellent. And the chain breaker is compatible with 11 and 12 speed chains. I've been using it for a while, and it's served me well. A compact air pump comes in handy on the trail. This Entity HP15 is a nice alloy hand pump that has a small profile that will work nicely. The pump is ready to go for a Schrader valve. To use it on a Presta valve, you have to screw in this adapter, which I found to be a little bit of an inconvenience. Despite that slight annoyance, the pump works well and stays out of the way. 
Since the Polygon Extrata has two bottle cage mounts, why not install two bottle cages? These Entity BC45 side pull cages are cheap and are on sale for $10 for a pair. They are side load bottle cages, which should be more secure and they're really lightweight. We'll see how they hold up to the abuse of trail riding. The two cages will allow me to carry a 27 ounce bottle on my down tube and a 21 ounce bottle on my seat tube. No need to carry a hydration pack. Well, that's the setup. Links to all the products in this video are in the description or visit your local bike shop where you'll find most of these products right there. So do you have a packless setup? Tell me about it in the comments. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to see more content like this in the future. Share the video with someone who might find this helpful. I hope you enjoyed this leg of my journey. Thanks for watching.